Well, welcome back everyone. Today is July 27th, 2023, marking the very first day of this year's Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Are you excited, Goop? This is exciting. I'm wearing my Ratatouille shirt. I can even smell the food already. Yeah. Can you smell gonna... the pickle milkshake? No, no, I don't want the pickle milkshake. Well, you're gonna have to try it because it is one of the new items and we will be trying every single new item in this video. I think there's like 23 of them. I feel like this year the chefs at Food and Wine are trying to attack me. They're having pickle milkshakes, they're having pickle fries. Yeah. I don't like pickles, so I'm kind of scared. But I'm excited, we're gonna have some good food items. I'm really excited to check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's about time. The food booth should be opening soon, so we're gonna head into the park, maybe we'll look at some merchandise, and just see what else the festival has to offer us. It's very strange up here by the park, normally in like these um, these green things that hold the maps, they normally have some festival guides, but I don't see any. They, they must have delayed the festival. Yeah, maybe. There's no festival today. No pickle shake. That, that's good. Yeah. All right, well, heading into the park, of course, we had to stop in Creations so Goo can look at his merchandise. We're not going to show all of it right now because obviously, like, we'll see some of it in the festival, like the merchandise booths along the way. Yeah. But right here, they do have the lounge fly. John Self is very, very nicely modeling for us. I like it. I think it's nice. Yeah. It, like, yeah. like chips. Yeah. It is $78. $78. So, normally the specialty ones, I feel like, are more than that. I like the spaceship like, earth. Yeah. It kind of looks like a spatula. It does. So there, there you I go. Guess, That's uh, fun. There you go. Wise words from Goo. Yeah. And they do also have a festival Dooney and Burke. This is kind of nice. Mickey and Minnie on there with Spaceship Earth. Nice guy. That tag that has the um, the festival name on it. It's going to be two ninety. I like that they're using a lot more Mickey. I miss the Remy though. I feel like if there's anything we won't find elsewhere, it's probably going to be the pass of the merchandise they have here. So we'll take a look at this. Look at that shirt. That's really fun. I like it. Look, it's got Big Man and he has like a burger and I don't know if these are pancakes or potato chips tacos. or tacos. Tacos, ah. yeah. All kinds of That's stuff. That's kind of cool. On this oh, thing. Yeah. And then the sleeve. I thought the sleeve had something. Yeah, it, or no, it doesn't. No, nothing nah. on the sleeve. But that's it cool. is it is $40, which I feel like is a little bit more I, than... I guess it's more like a raglan, so yeah, it kind of makes yeah. sense. And then they do have a pass holder pin as well. It's got Figment there holding a pass holder banner. I like that one. Well, it is extremely hectic in here, and I think Goo has stalled long enough on the pickle milkshake. It is what? almost 11 o'clock. You ready to head over there, Goo? No, I'm not. You're gonna have to. And here we go. We've made it over to the brew wing here. It looks like they did open a little bit early. I love the theming on the outside, like the, um, the stickers to make it look kind of like a lamb. I'll say, as horrifying as the pickle milkshake sounds, it's only 575, uh, that's which I bad. feel like isn't terrible. So yeah. we're gonna get all the new things. We're gonna go around. Hopefully, we'll find some good food. But either way, it's open. I'm excited to see the theming in there. Here we go. Hi everyone. Welcome to the I believe they do have, I don't know if it's them, but they have someone like actually talking somewhere. Oh, there's a screen in there. We'll look at it in a second. But there is quite a line already building up for the pickle shake. Nobody's going to that line over there. So yeah, I think yeah. that's probably the thing to do. I think they actually did a better job with this than I expected. But there was a good amount of theming. I think the Muppets talk on that screen over there. So when they come back on, we'll give you a look at that. And here's a look at the pickle shake on the wall. You can see to make it, they had to pick, figure out the Pickle Green Theorem. Pickles squared plus milkshake squared equals delicious squared. I'll be the judge of that. Now this is interesting. I wonder if it's actually true. The electric pickle. This is, did you know pickles are excellent conductors of electricity? When you connect them to a power source, they even glow in the dark. Wow. But then also down here it says, this experiment should only be done by highly trained professionals and is extremely dangerous. Also, it will make your laboratory smell like burnt pickles. I don't think that would smell very good, so we'll probably just take them for their word. And we did also find a festival guide in here. I think they were just having a delay putting them out in the front because we did get here just as the park was opening. But they have them at the different um, the different food booths, so you can find one inside the park if you if they don't have them at the front. To the Brewing Lab, Inc. A place to experiment with new food and beverages. Don't be afraid to try something new, like our frozen fusion confections that. Oh, brain freeze. Keep. All right, well, we have found a 
table here and we got all of our things. We have one, two, three, five different things. Very excited, you got your pickle shake. You're keeping it close to you. No, I don't want, no, no. Yeah. Well, we found Todd. Yeah, Todd's we did. Here from Todd from Traveling, from traveling hey Around Disney. He's got some, some exciting food too. Yeah. He already tried the pickle shake. Yeah. And he said it's not as bad. Yeah, yeah it's it. not as bad. It's more deal than pickle. Okay. But it grows on you. I will say it grows on you. So it'll grow on you. I feel like he's lying to me. <laughs> you want to try it? Just get it out of the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It needs like a water or something. Good luck. It's, it's dill, dill galore all over the place. It has a good creamy aftertaste, yeah, almost like a minty aftertaste. Sounds like I think some people will enjoy it. I feel like pickles for sure. I feel like dill even better. But as horrifying as this is, I just want the cup. Yeah. So I'm glad I got the sip out of the way. I don't have to finish this, right? Yes, you do. But to get that disgusting taste out of our mouth, we actually have this other specialty drink. Ooh. This is called the Frozen Fusion. Wow. It's a pomegranate raspberry herbal tea with orange cream molecules on top. This was good. It was refreshing. Yeah. The cup's really cool. It has like all kinds of formulas on the side. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of scientific, which is great. So from there though, now that we're refreshed, I think we're going to go into our wings, which looks pretty good. Yeah. First of all, we have the Impossible Buffalo Chicken Tenders with a plant-based blue cheese with ranch and celery. We also have the unnecessarily spicy yet extremely tasty Scotch Bonnet Pepper Curry Wings. And then lastly, we have our orange cardamom wings, which look really good, kind of more sweeter, kind of my thing. So I guess we'll go into the wings. We'll see if they're good. Yeah. I'm excited. You want to try the plant-based one since they're right in front of you? Yeah, I guess so. It's spicy. Yeah, they yeah. are they're a little more. I feel like if this is spicy, I have the really extra oh, spicy yeah. one sung and explode. I can't wait for y'all to try those. <laughs> they were fine. They were actually very much like a very simple chicken tender. It was yeah. hard to tell they were kind of plant-based. But there's, there's confusion amongst us because John actually tried Todd's wings and he said that it was a little bit different and a little bit more yeah. crispier, or better. So mm -hmm. there's some inconsistency here, just kind of expected. Yeah, and you guys only what, like six people apart in the line? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that yeah. is true, yeah. yeah. But either way, we have more wings to try here. I think we'll go. All right, looks like Matt's gonna go in for the orange yeah. cardamom wings. Yeah, they smell very orangey, so. So if I'm trying the hot ones, we'll have to try the ranch. I so wanna try the ranch. You, if you're making me, I'll try the horrifying things. I tried the plant-based thing. Okay. I'll try your way. It is very like um, citrusy orange. Like, like orange chicken? Or? No, more like a citrus, like a sour citrus. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna try the wings. Okay, so Matt and Daniel handed me a orange cardamom. You can definitely smell the orange. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he thinks. Mm. I like the sweet glaze on the outside. Really don't get a ton of orange though. I got a lot of citrusy, like a yeah, citrus. Yeah, more citrus than orange. Yeah, yeah. Not as hot as the buffalo. These aren't hot, thank goodness, no. so these are nice. It is now time for the unnecessarily spicy yet extremely tasty scotch bonnet pepper curry wing. Apparently the um, hot sauce from this is harvested from the heart of a molten volcano. So, you're excited, Goo? I'm, I'm going for a hard here because I don't have water. Yeah. I am burning low on this. I'm gonna have to drink the pickle shake. Right. Cool. <laughs> so, Jane doesn't get ready to try the scotch bonnet. He does have the pickle milkshake just in case. Go for it, Daniel. That's a good thing about having friends like that. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it's really good, but it's very. Oh. <laughs> he was trying to tell us more about the wings, but he can barely even talk. <laughs> I need water. There's no drinking cup in here. Yeah. Poor goop. They're good. They're really good. But they're extremely spicy. So, if you like spicy, that's good. I wonder if the orange thing will calm it down. Or oh, you can worse. try. Probably won't. Okay. I mean, it is spicy. It is fairly spicy. Well, there you go, that was brew wing there. And it was actually, I think, better than either of us expected it to be. Nothing nothing was bad, I'll say. Like, everything was pretty enjoyable. Was 
It was better than I thought it would be. It was better than I thought, but it was still pretty I'll bad. say it was better than any of the pickle things I had at the pickle festival. Well, you only had like one thing. Well, either way, it, 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 it wasn't terrible. That being said, we have now moved on. Coming towards the World Showcase over here, and the first stop is gonna be Mexico, because they have a whole new menu. It looks like they have um, three different things. They probably have some new drinks. I don't know if we're gonna try those. We're not really prioritizing the, um, the drinks today, more just the food. It'd be impossible to try every new drink, so yeah. what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try every new food. Yeah, and then so. if a drink looks particularly good, yeah. we might get it. Yeah. All right, well, we got all three of the new items here, just like we said we would. You gonna tell us what they are, Goo? Well, first of all, we have a tostada de carnitas. So I guess it's like a little fried corn tortilla with black beans, mousse, queso, chives, and then you're like braised pork. So that looks really good. And then we also have this taco de costilla, costilla. But it's pretty much just like a short rib on a corn tortilla with salsa, things like that. And then lastly, we have the pastel impossible thing. It's basically just like a flan with tres leches on top, so. I'm not sure like why they specify it does impossible or whatever mean something different? Like a no, like impossible. A, no. Maybe it's so good that it's like impossible. Yeah, that's to what I was thinking. It's impossibly good. Well, do you wanna you wanna find out if it is so impossibly good? Give it a try. I'm gonna try the food first, like right. the real food. Yeah. So I'm gonna start off with this thing. John, if you don't mind, my duties. You never really sure. Yeah. That was the tostana. It was exactly what you'd expect. So it's kind of just like your tostada with like corn carnitas on top. It's good, it's a nice thing to have here. I don't think it's anything like really, really special, but I mean, it does the job. It's like, what do you expect here? All right, I got the taco here. What kind of taco is this? This is um. It's like a braised beef, I yeah, think. Yeah, slow braised yeah. beef short rib. All right. This looks good. Looks like you have like a corn tortilla right there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a bad flavor to it. The meat is cooked nicely. That being said, it is I feel like it's a tiny bit bland. Um, also, we let it sit there for a while and it got kind of cold, so it probably would have been better if it was on the warmer side. Overall, it's not a bad option, but I don't I don't really think I would get it again. It's nothing really special. Hey, All right, then Goo has the last item here, the Actually, impossibility the the best part. Flan, flan thing. Just to give you perspective. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I, I, I agree with you. Hmm. All the things work together good, but if you get like only one bite of one thing, you're missing out. All right, that was a good one. I feel like once you get everything in there, it's a very decent thing. If you get like one bite of like just the bread or like the, the flan itself, it'll be a little underwhelming. But once the flavors work together, I was I was surprised. First, second booth in, how are you feeling? Not bad at all. Yeah. We took it pretty slow. My lips are still kind of tingling from the spicy <laughs> wings, but. Well, luckily we don't have a booth until China, so we have a couple, couple, yeah. couple things to break us up a little bit, which is good. Supposed to be layers and layers. I'm getting a big bite just in case. Todd is a flan expert. He is. So we'll, we'll see what he thinks of it. The flan is really good. Not a big fan of the cake, but the guava on top of there is really tasty. It's more like a gel. I enjoy this, but then you know me and desserts. I always enjoy a good dessert. How does it compare mm. to your famous flan? Mm. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> No, I need to make these guys some flan. They can see what real flan is. You want to like. share the recipe? Uh, no. no. Thank you. Okay. No recipe sharing here. Everybody knows that. Well, we came to our next booth here, the China booth. You can tell Matt is very excited because we're going to be getting duck. Oh, look at the line. Look at this line. Yeah. This is crazy. It's moved pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to get a duck bow, I think is yeah. what it is, with um, a hoisin sauce or something. We'll talk more about it when we get it. But I, I feel like most of the food we're trying is not in the World Showcase. Yeah. So if we get World Showcase done, we'll have kind of some more good enjoyment later. So yeah. I think we're off to a good start. Well, it looks like we got our next item here in yeah. China. This is the um, crispy duck bao bun with hoisin sauce. Oh, there's the ocean sauce yeah. I was looking for. Let's see how it is. It looks good. It looks pretty simple, but like a new option for the festival. Let's see. Give it a good try. I like the duck, I think it's cooked nicely. It's and not the sauce like. good. The sauce is good. It's a little bit, so they just put like a dollop of sauce on the bottom, and so oh. it's kind of like all in one spot, so you get a mouthful. So it's a little inconsistent. Yeah, if they would have, if the sauce would have been spread more evenly, yeah. that would have been better. But I mean, overall, not a bad item. See you later. Have a good one. You too. Bye. <laughs> well, it looks like Todd is traveling on. He's going that way, yeah. and we're gonna travel this way in honor of traveling around Disney. So, yeah, we'll see what we can do. We're gonna walk over here. We're gonna try more food.
Now over here right in between China and like this, um, I guess refreshment outpost or whatever it's called, they do have an India booth. That being said, they don't have anything new this year. Everything is just returning, so I don't think we're gonna try anything. Here's our first festival marketplace where they have some of the merchandise. Let's try to take a look. I like this shirt a lot. I guess it's kind of like Encanto themed. You can see that's the, uh, the, you can see that's the, I think the casita with the candle in the window there. And it says Epcot International Festival, or Food and Wine Festival 2023. That's a really nice one, actually. I like that. They also have an Encanto pin here. That's pretty cool. I like that. Of course, this one as well. And this one is limited release. This right here was the logo on the pass holder shirt, actually, but this one doesn't say pass holder. So I guess this is just a regular one. But... It did just start to rain pretty hard while I was standing here. You can see Gu and John Salt over there. They're in line right there, waiting for food. Looks like they're gonna get a little wet. It looks like that might have been just a short little rainstorm. I don't really know. It slowed down quite a bit. I'm gonna go see if I can find them. Let's see if we can find some shelter. You can see everything is pretty wet. They are in line here at the Alps and they only have one new item this year. It's gonna be the dark chocolate fondue with berries, pound cake, and meringues. And they also still have the warm Swiss cheese, which has been pretty popular in the past. I think they like, they shave it off the block. It smells really strong. Wow. Yeah, you can see the blocks of cheese right there. They're like um, shaving it off as people order. We didn't get any of that. We just got the fondue. Cool. There you go, it looks good. Yeah, all wow. kinds of things to dip in the fondue. We're gonna find a table. Yeah. And while we were looking for a table, I noticed over here they are doing the cork tunes again this year, which I actually got one of these last year. You can see they like draw a caricature of you on a cork and put it in one of these bottles. This is kind of fun, it is $20, but it's cool. You just give them a picture and they draw you. Do you want to tell us about this fondue here? Yeah, so I guess this is like a dark chocolate fondue. You have the berries, you have the pound cake, you have like meringues there, so. I guess kind of just like what fondue, you dip everything in it, very authentic. Are these things here like meringues? Yeah, or meringues. Are they just, okay. Yes, yeah. they're not like, I'm gonna start they're off with this. They're very I'm gonna start with this. All right. I'll dip it in the dark chocolate. This is plant-based too. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna see if this turns out good. It is interesting because I feel like dark chocolate fondue yeah, yeah. would kind of already be plant based, but then you gotta add the cake in. Yeah, I was Which also has to be plant based. And then meringues, I don't think they're normally plant based either. Depends on what they use for their yeah. thickening. Yeah, so. It's obviously not gelatin. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? I th it'll depend on which one you get, but obviously it's very much just like a dark chocolate. So if you like dark chocolate and you like gooey, chocolatey things, I'm, I'm sure you'll love this. This is great. This looks like one of those like strawberries that they dip in chocolate. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if it's good. That's good. If you like chocolatey things, it's, I, I know it's plant-based, but it's very, it's very much just like a fondue. You get your chocolate, you can dip your things in it, and it's decent for what it is. I think it's nice. I feel like that was a very simple item, so it'd be kind of hard to get it wrong. So I, I kind of feel like it doesn't overpromise, and it also doesn't under-deliver as well. So I think it was good. I enjoyed it. Well, moving forward through our list, we have officially made it to Goo's favorite booth. Always his favorite this booth, This is Italy. everyone's favorite booth. Everyone's every favorite booth. Yeah. Italy, very they, excited. They have a whole new menu once again. They do, yeah. This is great. Yeah. What is this? I gotta Come say, it, it doesn't look as good as the picture. Canatelli? It's pasta with like sausage or like, apparently sausage and bacon is on there too. And then over here we actually have this focaccia with beef meatballs, tomato sauce, and burrata cheese. And lastly we have this cheesecake with vanilla cream and strawberry compote. I mean, the Italy booth has known to be very generic food. Yeah. This was $27. $27 for all, all the food this. right there. So I, make, your own, make your own assumptions already, but this could be very good, and it could 100% not be worth that price tag. Like, this, I mean, it looks kind of sad, but at the same time, it doesn't look terrible. It's a meatball with, like, tomato sauce. You have so, the cream. Yeah. I'll leave that, that one to you. Sad. I'll try this one. Yeah, all right. And then the cheesecake we'll all try. All so right. there you go. The pasta itself looks like good pasta. Yeah, the presentation is terrible. I'm sorry. The presentation does not look that great. So, the cavatelli. I'm sorry. This is a Costco special. This tastes like one of those meals you get from Costco where you warm up. Yeah, yeah. Um, it tastes like very much like Alfredo sauce you get in like a can. It's not, it's not bad, it's not like terrible, it's not, not inedible, it's just nothing good for the price here. I don't know, maybe if it looked better, I would have had a better, better attitude about it. But you wanna try out this thing? Yeah. 
They're all from the same area, yeah. I gotta say, I'm not as, I'm not necessarily disappointed. Um, it's giving Fazoli's in the best kind of way. Um, cause like, it just tastes like fast food, Italian food, and it's not bad. Like, that one I, I wouldn't order again. Yeah. This one, for the price, I probably wouldn't order it again, but if they had this at Fazoli's, I might order it. Like, a, a bigger portion at a reasonable price. Going in for the cheesecake. All right, we're gonna try the cheesecake. Oh. That's very thick, and it has almost like a citrusy taste to it. Here, you try it. Here we go. I didn't get as much citrus as you got. Yeah. Oh, I'm starting to get it, okay. Yeah. I don't like that, like, it's um... It's so heavy. That fake citrus taste. Yeah. The cake itself is not terrible. It's not super fluffy on the inside, but it's got the um, the fluff you're looking for with cheesecake. It's not bad. It just has that it, artificial. It's probably the solid, most solid out of all these. Yeah, it has a very artificial citrus taste, and some people like that. Yeah, a lot of people like that actually. I think it was like eight dollars, like nine dollars, I think for this. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. The more we try the cheesecake, we're kind of getting at least some. I think the citrus thing is our biggest issue with it. Yeah, I feel yeah, like some people do will like it. I'll say it, it keeps going back to the price. Like for yeah. the price, will I get this again? I don't know. But it's not a bad dessert at all. Yeah, it's yeah. not something I'm disappointed with. So we have made it to the American Adventure and they're ready for the Eat to the Beat concert series. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys do want to see us see any concerts, make sure you do comment and let us know who you want to see. But either way, actually here at the American Adventure, we have three items to try. And then over there at the funnel cake stand, we have one funnel cake to try. Mm. So John's getting the funnel cake. We're going to get the food. And yeah. We're getting close. Whether we have 10 items yeah. left. And um, there's four here. Yeah. So after this, won't be much more. Yeah. All right. Well, we have all four of our items here. I think Goo's going to start us off here with the funnel cake because it has ice cream. And it's going to melt. It's a candied bacon funnel cake with like ice cream and a maple, maple syrup. So we're going to try and get as much of this candied bacon in here. It's good, but it doesn't beat the funnel cake they had last time. Last yeah. time they had that um, banana split. Banana I think split. That was really good. Here, you want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. Make sure you get Let's some candy bacon. See. Yeah, let me get some of the funnel cake, some of the bacon and ice cream, or whatever it is. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it is good. You get a really good sweetness from the candied bacon, the creaminess from the ice cream, and then kind of like a, a saltiness um, from both the bacon and the funnel cake itself. I think that that combination works really well together. Yeah. I'm really excited for this one. This is the Chipino with a tomato fennel based broth, I believe it is. You can see there's some shrimp and um, mussels and different things. So we'll give it a try. It looks like there's chicken in there too. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. All right, well, let's see. The broth is really nice. Um, I just had a little bit of the chicken. It was cooked nicely. I like that a lot. I want to try a little bit of the bread too. They have like a crispy bread in there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so one of the other items we got from here is a chilaquiles. I don't know how to say it. The lady up there said it some fancy way. But this is corn tortilla chips tossed in salsa verde with rancho chicken, queso fresco, cilantro lime crema, and a soft poached egg. We'll see how it is. Try and get a little bit of everything. Oh, the, the chips are kind of soggy. You get a little bit of the egg. Yeah, the chips are a little bit soggy, but we've sat here for like 10 minutes taking pictures and videos, so that might be on us. And it's raining. And it's raining. <laughs> oh, wow. It's good. I think it might be the sauce on the chicken and then also the creamy sauce. It has a really nice flavor to it. It works best when you eat it with the chips because you get the saltiness from the chip. But this is good. This is actually really good. At the end of the day, it's really nothing like spectacular, but I think it's enjoyable. It has good flavors. The flavors work good. There's a lot of flavors here and they're very nice. So mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. Something else I wanted to mention about this um, chili killers, whatever it was, they were actually like putting, putting it together fresh in the back. So it's not like it was sitting on top of the chips and the chips were getting soggy yeah, so when they gave it to me. That was probably our fault then for yeah. just letting it sit. Yeah. But we have this Italian hot beef sandwich. Mm -hmm. This was $6.25, it had shaved beef, like a relish on top and then like a, one of the sauce. Yeah, dip it in the sauce, is that how you do it? Yes. Okay. The um, relish on top has a spice to it. Mm. And the 
Italian beef itself has like a spice to it too. I can't tell if they mix well. I feel like they're kind of separate. So it's probably, it's just a personal thing for me. Yeah. I wasn't a big fan of the relish, so that's just on me. But I mean, it's cool. I'm glad they're adding some more things here to American Adventure. I feel like you used to get kind of basic things. So the fact that you're getting a variety is good. So there you go. Also, far so good. I yeah. feel like we only have like, what is it, like six items left? I think so, yeah. I'm I, feeling good. I'm feeling great. I feel like we kind of strategically did it. Now that the sun's coming out, we really don't have too much more to try. Mm -hmm. So this has been great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some food here. Our next stop is here at the Japan booth. We're yes. gonna get two more things. Yep. So the first item here is a fire taki roll. It's a sushi roll with spicy tuna, cucumber, and pickled daikon radish served with spicy sauce. The second one is gonna be beef wagyu don, which is traditional Japanese rice bowl with American wagyu beef over steamed white rice. These both look pretty decent. I'm, I'm excited to try both of them. What do you think? Are you excited about the bowl? This looks good. The sushi looks kind of horrifying. Yeah, oh, he's not sushi a sushi fan. Yeah. They give you chopsticks yeah. so you can well, I'm eat excited them. for both of them. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm not a big fan of sushi with um, cucumber. And this has cucumber. I need to get a little bit of sauce too. That's a big piece of sushi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was like nine dollars. Yeah, I, I guess I'll just stick the whole thing in my mouth. I don't know what else to do. I have a big issue with the flavor. It was more just the um. There was a lot of cucumber. And you like don't a like lot, the cucumber? Lot. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the cucumber, but yeah, it was just a really big bite. Kind of hard to manage. It's not bad. It's a little creamy, a little spicy. I know in previous festivals we've compared their sushi to the public sushi. Does that still maintain that here? I think it's slightly better. Okay. Slightly better, but still nothing. Um, was it nothing spicy? Spectacular. Yeah, it was a little spicy. Yeah. It, it had a spice to it. Not a bad sushi, especially if you like a lot of the cucumber. A lot of it was cucumber. All right, Goo has the bowl here. Gonna try to get a little everything. Let's see. It kind of has like a teriyaki, like soy sauce taste to it. Hmm. And the rice is good. It's salty, but the rice kind of counters it nicely. The bowl was decent. I feel like the flavors were definitely here. It would have been nice to kind of have some like more sauce or something to kind of go with the rice because if you look here, under the beef, it's kind of hard to see. There's like three miles of, of rice. And I feel like one, you can only get enough flavor from the beef in the rice here. So if we would have had like a sauce or something to go into the rice, give the rice more flavor, that would have been great. We stopped at our next booth, the yeah. grease booth over here. There was a long line there. Actually, only one of these items is new, but Goo wanted to get the griddled cheese because it's one of like the cheese items for the, what is it this year, meals? A meals fromage montage. A meals fromage montage. It's just a griddled cheese with pistachios and honey. But the other item we got is a plant-based impossible masuka, ma, mas, muska. Musaka. Told him I practiced it, I got it right. Whatever it is, miska, muska, Mickey Mouse, whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> musaka. Musaka. Close that enough. Thing. Close enough. But that's that's the only description we get. The plant-based impossible musaka. Uh, it, so. Let's hope it brings the good enjoyment. Yeah. This was good a couple years ago, so I'm hoping that this kind of goes good. It's like cheese with like honey and walnuts on top, so pistachios, whatever they are. So we'll give them a try. We want to go with the, the muska, the Mickey Mouse, yeah. I don't very much enjoy eating things when I don't know what they are. <laughs> oh, there's something under it. Like nuts maybe? Oh. No, oh. there's like vegetables under it. So oh, this, this is- not what I thought it was. It's like a mashed potato- Oh gosh, that doesn't Type look thing with I think an impossible meat under it and some vegetables is what it appears to be. All right, down the hatchet, I guess. <laughs> That's why I let Matt try all these things, so I don't have to. You're gonna throw up. It's not really that bad. Huh. It's very close to like a ground beef. It's a little bit chewier, okay. um, but it's not bad. The sauce is decent. It's almost like a curry sauce. And then the top is just like a, a mashed potato. That's exactly okay. what- It's not what I thought it was. Interesting. And then there's some vegetables in there with it. You'll, um, never, you'll never know what international flavors you'll find here at the Food and Wine Festival. I don't love it, but I don't know if it's just because I didn't expect to love it because I don't normally enjoy plant-based things. All right, Goo is gonna try some of the um, the griddled cheese. Like I said, this item isn't new. We just got it to um, to help with our fromage montage. It's a little hard. I think it's been sitting for a little bit. Yeah. It depends on how much honey you get on it. It has like honey and walnuts or like pistachios. The more honey you get, the more contrast there is. The cheese kind of has like a 
almost like a tartness to it with the honey, with the um, pistachios, it works really well. But not every bite's gonna work the same, not everything's gonna be fresh, so I feel like this is one of those dishes where consistency could be a problem. But other than that, it's decent. It's cheese. I'm happy with it. And at this point, I can confirm that we have finished all the required new foods here in the World Showcase. Yeah, on to world construction. I, I feel very accomplished. I think this is great. We got our food, we got to try everything. And so far, I feel like we've had some good ones. But overall, very decent options. I think we had a great time showing them to you guys. Yeah. So I think that was great. On our way over to World Construction, there are a few booths, one of which being the Ireland booth. We won't be getting anything from here today because they don't have anything new. They do have a few really good items that I want to come back and get. The warm chocolate pudding cake I always enjoy. I hope it's as good this year. And then the um, the Bailey's Coffee Shake is actually one of my favorites. It's a little bit pricey for the size, but I really enjoy it. They put like some shaved chocolate on top. I feel like as far as all the foods here, you have a lot of returning favorites. Yeah. So like what you liked, they kind of kept around, which is good. Mm -hmm. And here's another festival marketplace with some more merchandise within C before. A goo found the hamburger this. sliders. It's a hamburger. Or, um, not sliders. It's a coaster coasters, set. Yeah, yeah. So it's like all the things from our burgers. That's mm -hmm. great. $25. It says food and wine on it. So. Yeah. Look at this. They have the normal tray. Oh, it doesn't have a cup holder on it. This is thicker than usual, though. And it says, look, it says each item is unique. So each of these is like, a, I guess, a different piece of wood. Each one's unique. Look at this. 12 bucks. I like this hat a lot. This is one thing I actually considered getting. Choose your course. And it has the um, food and wine logo on the side. Look at the spear jersey. You have oh, Mickey. That is nice, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Simple, but kind of fun. That's, oh, it's, oh, a, it's, oh, it's a zipper. It's is a spear jersey it, zipper. Wow. I actually really like That's that. That's great. I might try that on. That's the, nice. The thing is, food and wine lasts until like November. Yeah. So this, these things are going to sell great. Mm -hmm. $100. $100? $99.99. I mean, it's nice, but... I'm gonna wait. You're gonna wait? Yeah. I also do like these ears here. We'll kind of have all the food. Oh, and you can get the button-up button shirt. It's oh, this the is the, the, brand, the yeah. Rain Spooner, whatever you call it. It's probably it. under 50 bucks. Then. Let's see. Is it, why don't they always keep these prices? 135. Okay. I mean, not, not terrible. Yeah. That's cool. I do like that. And then here's like the main oh, spirit jersey. Yeah. So I guess it's just the world together. $80. See the other water. side. And has like the food and wine logo there. Mm -hmm. Can you watch those slides again? Yep. Yeah, there's spaceship roof. This ornament? That's kind of cool. Yeah. Ornaments. <laughs> Simple shirts that just say food and wine on them. I, I miss the Remy collection. You don't have many Remy things, but that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a, great. I'm guessing, yeah, Corksicle. Corksicle. Hmm. That's really fun. How much is that one? 50 bucks. <laughs> About what you would expect. That's cool. The mug is pretty cool. Kind of looks like one of those Starbucks mugs. They have all the pavilions on it. $20. The merchandise is really fun. I'm not a big fan of a lot of it. I think it's kind of... They kind of reused a lot of them, and I am missing the Remy collection because I'm a I'm a personal Ratatouille fan, so that's where my grievance comes in. I enjoyed a lot of this. Yeah, stuff. I thought there was some good some good options. Apparently, there's like an Encanto collection we have to look at yeah, too, so yeah. we need to look at oh, all I these. I saw some of it at the yeah. other booth right before it started raining. But we'll see the rest of it. Yeah. We stopped in here at Port Adventure to see if they had any of the merchandise for the festival, and I didn't see any, but they do have this Muppets like um, print. I don't know if this is special for the. Festival, but it, like, it isn't. They're just having, they're putting all the Muppets place in one place yeah. for the festival since yeah. they're featuring them. I like it. And while we're in here, Goo ended up grabbing one of the maps for the scavenger hunt. One thing you might not know is when you get it, you can redeem the prize like right away. You don't have to do the scavenger hunt to redeem the prize. This is a pretty nice prize. Yeah. It's like a little insulated bag. It's fun as running on it. Yeah. Here's the thing every single time on the first day of the festival, I buy the scavenger hunt and I never do it. Mm -hmm. So the, the goo tip of the day, redeem it when you buy it. Yeah, so, just in case. Yeah, there you go. Well, maybe we'll do it on a string or something. That'd be great. Now over here right by Pour the Ventry is Shimmering Sips. We will not be getting this yet, even though there is one item we need to get. I think one item. They have the Pog Juice Mimosas. Oh, wow. Yeah. But, but we do need to come back here to get our um, redeemer prize for the fromage montage. So we're gonna go hit the other two places and then we'll come back to this one. We're actually moving along pretty good today. I think it's around like three o'clock and we're on our second to last booth here, the Flavors of Fire. I think there's two items we need to get, a skirt steak taco and the spiced chocolate tart. We're also getting one of these um, corned beef since it's part of the Emile's fromage montage right there. I gotta say, we're not getting it this year, but the Impossible Slider here is actually surprisingly good. I'm not usually a big fan of that kind of stuff, but I had it in the years past. And it was really good. I'm gonna have to get this again at some point. Not today, but at some point I will be back for it. To you complete your book, you 
Yeah, I did. Yeah, there you go. We have five spots. There you go. Very nice. Well, we got our food here, and this looks really good. This is actually a returning item. This is the corned beef. They just call it smoked corned beef. It has potato chips, cheese curds, pickled onions, Ready? and a beer cheese fondue. This is one of like the meals from Maj Montage, one of our last ones, so yeah. we have to get this yeah. one. So we'll see if it kind of lives up to last year. We also got this chimichurri marinated skirt steak taco. It has like avocado on it, corn salsa, red onions, queso fresco, and cilantro lime cream. It looks kind of... It has Sad. I think it has the potential yeah. to be good. Yeah. I think the, but it also has the potential to be awful. And then lastly, we have a spiced chocolate tart, and this one's horrifying to me too because it has a potato, barbecue potato chips oh. crust. Oh yeah, oh, I, I, I forgot it, about that. I don't like I don't like barbecue chips. This is kind of horrifying. You also have a salted whiskey caramel and smoked sea salt. So I think all of these look pretty good. I think we're gonna go in one of our last weeks of the day. So hopefully it'll be good. All right, who is gonna try the barbecue chip? It smells like barbecue chips. Whatever it is. That kind of works. Hmm. It's weird, it's kind of taking my taste buds a minute to register what just happened. Huh. The chips give a good saltiness with the chocolate, works really well. There's like sea salt on top, which is great. Here, you wanna give it a try? Yeah, I can try it. I don't like barbecue chips, but I really don't taste like the barbecue flavor. It's not bad, I think it works together. It bugs me when things are in places where they shouldn't be. And I don't think that the barbecue chips should be there. But yeah. I think them being there works. Considering what it is, I think they did a decent job kind of piecing it together and making it um, not as repulsive as it should have been. Goo is like butchering this taco before he's gonna try it. Cause he doesn't like avocado, he doesn't like what onion, he there? doesn't like. It's pretty much a standard taco. But the beef kind of has like a good char to it because it's flavors from fire. They're definitely like charring this beef. They have like a grill out there, they grill it. So I think if anything, the flavor from fire, like the flavors here that came from the fire are the real star of this dish. If you're wanting beef, this is good. I don't know if you're coming for a taco, maybe you won't be disappointed. I'm not a big fan of these toppings, so that's that's my biggest issue with it. I also tried the smoked corn beef. It's almost like a nacho. I think we had this last year. I feel like it's exactly what it was then. It's it's something you really can't get too wrong. If anything, it's a little bit salty, but I mean, it's it's fun. At least I got my little sticker off of it, or my um, Emile's Fromage Montage. But lastly, Matt got this thing. Yeah, the swine brine. I like the swine brine. I've had it in the past. And you can't go to Flavors from Fire without getting a swine brine, so there you go. Looks like swine. Matt's taking a bite of his piggy wing from his yeah. swine brine. It goes good if you take a bite of the piggy wing and a drink of the swine brine. It works good together. I like it. Well, the moment you've all been waiting for and the moment I've been putting off the longest. I always put all these things off and then I re never realize eventually I'm gonna have to get to them. Yeah. So we have the pickle fries. Yeah, the these are fried pickles. Yep, the fried pickles with dill ranch on it. Yeah. So from the fry basket, so we're gonna... Uh, do I have to try them? Yes. Here's a look at the pickle fry there itself. It mm. uh. Yeah. Uh. What do you think? That was terrible. <laughs> Sorry, I could, they were horrifying? They were horrifying. Here's a look at the inside. It tasted just like a pickle. <laughs> so if you like pickles, there you go. Matt's turn. The breading was fine. The breading isn't bad. The pickle itself is very briny. Like yeah. It's, um, it's definitely it's very pickly. a very pickly pickle. It's not bad. If you like fried pickles, I think you'll like this one. It's, it's a good pickle. I mean, nothing against it. I think after that, we can officially conclude that that was Goo's new favorite booth what? and favorite food item. I like the fry booth. It, I, I, I'm worried that they fry the pickles in the same place they fry the fries. They probably do. So I'm afraid to come back here and try the rest. Well, it's gonna be hard to top that item. But we do have one more we need to try, the um, guava cake or something from Shimmering Sips. Yeah. And they also have the um, the completer fries there. So we, we're gonna head over to Shimmering Sips. I need a pellet cleanser. Yeah. That was the worst item. Worse, worse than the pickle shake. Yeah. That was terrible. 
actually, while we were standing over here and getting ready to head away from the fry booth, paging Mr. Morrow, Nate, he came over and he had the slider and he asked us, do you want to try it? So he gave us his slider, yeah. he let us try it. And if you check out his video, you may see a little look at us in it, trying it for him. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, that was really cool. I was surprised, this is the plant-based slider. Yeah. And it was actually pretty good, it has a nice spice to it. I think the sauce would have been, a little bit more sauce would have been better. Mm. But for the most part, like first slider, this turned out pretty good. Yeah. So, there you go. And I'll link Nate's video down below because he actually has a really fun idea today. He said he's going around to all the different booths and he's getting every single item. And then he's finding some of his friends or other creators or people and putting them in his video. So you can see every single item and then you'll see us and you'll see maybe some other people that you might watch and enjoy on YouTube. But we are here by our last booth, Shimmering Sips. Goo is over here in line. And there is only one item we need to get here. Actually, there's only one item at all, the guava cake. They didn't say this is new. Disney didn't denote it as new, but last year it was a guava mousse. And this year I think it's a guava cake with mousse on top. So we decided to get it anyway, just to, just to see if it's anything different, see what it's like. Also, over here will be where we get our completer prize for our meals from Maj Montage. And here we are with the exception of Goo's Liege Waffle. These are every single item that we wanted to get today. All of the new items, plus the completer prize, which isn't new. It's the same exact prize as last year, but it's still exciting. This is great. So this item technically is not new by Disney standards, but we'll try it out. We'll see if it's good. It definitely looks different than it did last year. So yeah. I'm gonna go into it. It is a guava mousse or guava cake with whipped cream and coconut. So you can see the guava cake in there. Mm -hmm. It really tastes like guava. It's really moist, it tastes like guava. The whipped cream on top is nice. I like the coconut, adds some texture to it. I mean, this is good, I was surprised. I feel like they could have easily just done something really simple with this, but it's moist, it's flavorful, I'm happy with it. And this complete prize, the strawberry cheesecake soft serve, it's exactly the same as last year, but it's still decent. You can see it comes in the special Emile's Fromage Montage cup. So that, that's pretty cool. If nothing else, you get a cool souvenir out of it. But that's it, that's the last item. All of the new items from the 2023 International Food and Wine Festival are complete. I survived. Yeah. All the pickle things, all the horrifying things. I think it's been great. I feel accomplished. But I think from here, it's, we've had a great day here today. We tried all kinds of food. We might stop in Creations to look at more merchandise, but I, I feel like we need a celebration. I yeah, feel like yeah. that's great. You mean like a Liege Waffle celebration? We need a Liege Waffle. Say, that's that's gonna the happen. grand finale. But before we have our celebratory waffle, I wanted to stop in Creation Shop to check out any other merchandise we didn't see earlier. But check this out, they actually have a new display here, like a window display with like mannequins wearing all the food and wine merchandise. Yeah, I do like these ears, the choose your course ears. Yeah. Those are pretty neat. You wanna go in? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. But I think like the main merchandise that we missed when we were first in here yeah. was this Encanto collection, which is kind of fun. They have like, it's all food and wine branded, mm -hmm. but it kind of has like all the characters from the Encanto. Well, those are kind of cool. You can get this for $35. Yeah. I showed a little bit of it when we were at that booth, but I didn't oh, show yeah. a lot of it. Here's the apron. The apron. This is kind of nice. It's kind of cool. There you go, yeah. You have like a tray over there that looks like the Oh, house. yeah. We'll try to look at it in a yeah. minute. You have some plates. Look at this. You can like make some pictures. Oh, wow. Yeah. There you go. That's really cool. These measuring spoons. Little measuring spoons. I feel like they're not very realistic because they're like ceramic. Yeah. But. More like a decoration. Yeah, I do yeah. like the towels. The towels are pretty cool. Mm. Look. Here's a closer look at the, we should have bought this tray to yeah. carry all our food on. Yeah. $20, that's not $20, that bad. $20, that's kind of fun. Yeah. I feel like this collection did replace the Remy collection. Mm. So that's good to know. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like there isn't a lot of merchandise here for this festival. I don't know. I, I don't like know. a lot of it. I feel like there's, there, I don't know, they might do this again where they kind of bring more merchandise mid-festival. Since this goes till November, like 100 days of festivals. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see. I think it's fun to kind of check it all out right now though, so. That, that was cool. Normally when they have liege waffles for the festivals, they'll be the prepackaged ones, and they only have them at the cafe Starbucks side. But apparently this time they have them at the eatery, yeah. and you can mobile order from the so eatery. So many people want their waffles, yeah, so they yeah. have to come here. So mm -hmm. there we go, I have my mobile order. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it won't be too much long, but I'm excited, I love the waffles. Well, here we go, the goo guy is waffle here. What do you think, Goo? You said the one you made actually made look better. I recreated this waffle before yeah. even trying it on our cooking stream. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it in the description. But it's kind of good. It's cream cheese. You have like a graham cracker crust to it. So we'll try it out. So the cream cheese is like drizzled on the top, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the graham cracker crust is just around the sides. Mm -hmm. There's Remy on it too. Nice guy. Overall, it was pretty good. It was kind of when I recreated the waffle. 
it was very similar in flavor here. It's a good waffle, I'm happy with it. It has Remy on it, so. I think, I love the creativity. Every single festival, they're just putting out the same waffle. This one's a little bit different, so I appreciate it, so. Either way, it's been great. We tried things, this is our final official item here today. So we're accomplished, this has been great. From here though, I think we're gonna head towards the front of the park, kind of wrap things up, but this has been great. We tried all the new items, we checked all of the new merchandise. I think it's been a very successful day. Well, there you have it. That was the first official day of Epcot's International Festival, Food and Wine Festival 2023. Presented by Corksicle. Oh, Corksicle, we have yeah. to put the full name there. Nice guy. Nice guy. But either way, thank you guys so much for coming along. If you guys could do us a favor, make sure you guys do hit that like button. Also, leave us a comment. Let us know which item you guys think was the best. Yeah. We really enjoyed the American Adventure food. I think that was probably one of our highlights, but overall, I was impressed. I feel like we got some good food this festival. I was happy with it. Also, if there was something that we didn't get to try today and you want to see it, make sure you leave that in the comment and we'll make sure we either try it on another video or a live stream or sometime in the future. We have plenty of time to try it before the festival ends. One more thing, if you guys do want to see all the food items and their prices, check out our website. We have a link in our description to our website where we have a full guide to the festival. Yeah. So if you guys want to check out everything, that would be great. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the video. And as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a Goo to each and every one of you. Hopefully you all have a great day. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.